Previously on Hood Life, Cash finally opens his footlocker and sets things off with a bang by giving away a brand new pair of air mags. Catalina announced she would be moving to LA and decided to set up a romantic evening with Cash. One thing led to another and Catalina asked Cash to move in with her. Infuriated by the success of the footlocker grand opening, Monster vows to step up the pressure being applied to Cash. We are nearing our goal of 100,000 subscribers, so if you haven't already, go ahead and smack that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video on the way in. Y'all, moving in with Catalina turned out to be way better than I expected. I mean, I seriously been living my life like I'm a king or something. Now, I'll be honest, you know, initially, I have my doubts. But it's like the more time we spend together, the more I realize I finally found what I've been searching for. True love. It's funny how the universe works. See, as soon as we started looking for a crib, Uncle Snoop put his mansion on the market. I took Catalina by there and as soon as she seen it, she fell in love immediately. But see, being that me and Snoop had already tapped in, he gave us a sweet deal on the place. So with the extra money, Catalina decided to bring in some weird designer to repaint the place. I mean, they was looking at blueprints and all type of shit. I didn't know what was going on, so I just sat there. I have an interview set up today with the man himself, Mr. Sean Cotton with Say Cheese TV. He heard some of my music, and also he heard about the businesses I've been opening so he wants to sit down in front of the camera. But before we do that, as a celebration of my recent success, you know with opening the Foot Locker and the dispensary, I decided to treat myself a little bit. We getting some new jewelry and a new whip. Yeah, 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 it's London, baby. Oh, 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 it's London, baby. I'm going to bed. I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint, I'm finna fill up the bank, I'm gonna paint, they can stand me, I'm on their way, ballin' these niggas who cake, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna the paint, yeah, I'm gonna the paint, yeah, I'm finna fill up the bank, yeah, I'm gonna the paint, they can stand me, I'm on their way, ballin' these niggas who cake, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna the paint. I'm going to paint. I just go to zip fucking 9 to 5, nigga. I'm a big boy, I can't sing. In the blue hunters, I can scuba dive. My past life had no one but God, so I'm gonna come up and just do or die. My heart cold, I got them to cry. Had a hard life, but I choose to strive. See, beg a lot, just a tendency. Nah, bro, you ain't no friend of me. Wrist froze, you don't gotta leak. Devil's a poor snake biting me. I'm the shit, watch my drip walk. Was it there? I got the person, got kicked, boy. I'm the baby with the shit talk. Stephen Curry with the wrist, boy. I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint, I'm finna fill up the bank, I'm going to the paint, they can stand me, I'm on their way, ballin' these niggas who cake, I'm going to the paint, I'm going to the paint. Hustler of the motherfucking year, what's good, my boy? Yo, what's good, brother, man? We finally linked up, man. What's happening? Man, that shit crazy. Um, So... This shit, it, did it happen overnight or would you say it was a slow process? Oh man, it definitely was a slow process, man. When I first started, I didn't have all the cameras on me. You know, I didn't have no media attention. So from the outside looking in, it looks like it happened overnight. But in reality, bro, it's been a slow grind getting to this point, man. Now, I remember on your live, you talked you talked about running off on, on one of your plugs before. And you said that that's one of the things that you kind of regret. Not to dig up any old dirt, but why did you run off on this? particular plug uh you know sean man i'll be honest man i was just young and immature at the time i had gotten myself into a situation and rather than you know just stand up and accept the consequences like a man i figured the best option would be to try to avoid it and i think that's what led to you know certain situations happening to me but you know i've i've, I've gotten that situation taken care of and rectified and i'm honestly blessed to be able to say that because not too many people are still breathing you know and and, and living to be able to talk about something like that man 
After the interview with Say Cheese, I got a call from Catalina's dad, Z. He demanded I meet him in some weird church immediately to have a conversation. Now, I'm sure he's pissed about me moving in with his daughter, and honestly, I don't blame him. But hey, it is what it is. Let's go see what dude talk about, man. I took a risk by accepting you back into this family. And you disrespect me once again. My daughter is the only thing I have left worth living for. I'll be damned if I let you or anybody else hurt her. This family was built on morals, principles of which I expect you to uphold. Now, moving forward, I am getting up in age. And before I leave this earth, I would like to have some grandkids. Have you and Catalina had this discussion? Say man, first of all, why is the priest standing here giving me the side eye? Second of all, buddy already talking about kids. Like we literally just moved in like two Saturdays ago. Y'all comment down below, man. Should I be thinking about kids or is he tripping? I dug a bit deeper and found something very interesting about your boy Cash. He's been dealing with the UCLA point guard Miles Arnold for some time now. From what I can see, it's almost like he's sponsoring this nigga. I mean, I can't seem to find what connection they could possibly have. But hey, if I can't get to Cash, I'll most definitely take the next best thing. See, I never played college ball, but I know for a fact an athlete isn't allowed to be receiving gifts and money from no one. <laughs> I've been contemplating calling down to the NCAA, you know, just to have them confirm my suspicions. But anyways, we'll focus on that a bit later. For right now, I got more shit to worry about. Yes, yeah, Sarsky! PFG family, man, we are finally back with another dope ass video. Like always, go ahead and smack that subscribe button. And don't forget to like the video on the way in. Now, I have to go ahead and give a huge shout out to my boy London Baby, as well as Banga9. They actually let me use their song for our video today, man. So, y'all, please do me a favor and go show them some love. Uh, the link will be in the video description. And also, of course, like always, shout out to my boy Zavi. He is the one that actually provides all the instrumentals for the channel. So go ahead and tap in with him as well for all your instrumental needs. But guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. As you can see, we are in a brand new car, man. This is a 2016 Charger. Unfortunately, I had to get rid of the Camaro, bro, because this damn house we finna buy is expensive as hell. And we needed some money, you know, to have left after for furniture and, you know, just to just to survive. Come on, bro. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. My my seatbelt light flash. Hold on. Let me put my seatbelt on. All right, y'all. We all clicked in, man. Y'all gotta remind me to wear that damn seatbelt. Uh, let me see where we're going. Oh shit. Let me let me actually stop first. All right, y'all. So I was looking at cribs, man, earlier, and I think our best bet is to kind of go over here in mirror the mirror park area. So we got a bit of a drive, but it shouldn't take too long. But yeah, so my goal with all this, man, is to get out of that trap house. Like it's not good to be living and sleeping and laying your head where you trap at. So our uncle Franklin left us the trap house before he passed. So we'll keep that like we own that basically, but we need a place to, to live at. So I was looking over in the Mirror Park area, man. They got tons of tons of houses over there. So we're going to check some out. And hopefully if we have time in this episode, we will get it furnished as well. So I will see you guys as soon as we get there. All right, guys, we finally made it over here. And as you can see, man, this is a really beautiful area, bro. So let's actually park and hop out, man. We finna this is this is hella monumental man it just now be getting out oh, let me take my seatbelt off I'm, i be wondering why the hell i can't get out but i forget i still got my seatbelt on but this is a beautiful beautiful area and it's hella monumental for us to be doing this considering i just got out of prison so let's go ahead and take a look at the first house man let's see this is beautiful as you can see it's for sale um right now we have three hundred and ninety thousand dollars most of that money we actually got from y'all know we hit the lick you know on that on that snakes uh, stash house so that got us quite a bit of money we did a little bit of trapping but that didn't bring us very much at all so right now we at three hundred and ninety thousand. so we finna see what these houses are going for man let's see how much this one is this one is 350, 350,000, man. Pretty expensive, not gonna lie to you. Pretty expensive. Uh, let's see what else we've got on this block. Um, I like this area, honestly. Let me see, but I really don't know how I feel about this, this little property over here. It looks like a, I don't know, just kind of an eyesore. <laughs> I'm, I'm really shopping for houses and shit. This is crazy, bro. But yeah, I mean, we got a little car area, carport or whatever. Um, like I said, we got houses all over. Um, we got those over there. Those is probably a little bit too expensive. But actually, while I'm over here, I really want to go check out this area. Let me hop in real quick. Yeah, let me go check out this area over here. But 
And the dope thing about this car, uh, being that it is a sports car, it has drift mode. So I'll show y'all what that is here in just a second. So drift mode is on, bro. So we can get sideways as well, <laughs> all the way up the street, bro. Oh, damn. Hey, that, <laughs> that bitch is solid, bro. Let me turn that shit off before I crash. But yeah, man, um, I want to go to this area over here. It is actually like a new complex that they're building. As you can see right here, uh, this is one that they are building right now. Unfortunately, it's not ready yet, as you can see. So we're not going to buy that over here, obviously. But the one right next door is actually already ready. So I want to check and see how much these houses over here are before we make our decision. But the reason I'm really interested in this area is because they're brand new. You know, we're not, you know, going to have to do too much remodeling or furnishing or anything like that. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, as you guys can see, this is a brand new, um, I don't even know. I guess it's called a subdivision. I don't know if it's called a complex. I don't know. Anyways, but yeah, man, these shit's is nice as hell, bro. I'm going to see how much this one is right here. This is perfect. Like, just pull up in your driveway. Like, just on some grown man shit, bro. So, I'm going to go ahead and park like I already live here, bro. All right, let's check it out, man. See how much they want for this thing, man. <laughs> how much you want for it, man? Talk to me, man. <laughs> All right, man. Here we go. Let's see. Damn, bro. They want four hundred and fifty. No, nah, I'm just playing. They want four hundred thousand for this. Like I said, we only got three ninety, y'all. So I, I, I'm almost tempted. I'm almost tempted, bro. To just wait. But then if we wait, I'm not gonna have no extras. You know, no extras to to live off of, bro. Let me check the. We got our garage right here. Oh, you can't really get around back. Look like they got a little bit of a backyard back there. I wonder if all of these in this little complex are the same, the same price. I'm sure they probably are, bro. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think these are probably all gonna be the same price. The four hundred thousand. These are some dope ass houses. Um. But I don't think we can afford it right now. Well, obviously we can't afford it, but we just ten thousand short. We can get ten thousand dollars easy, but like I said, we ain't gonna have no money to live off of. And you know, we just getting started, bro. We just, we, you know, we just getting started, man. So maybe we can kind of set our goals here before we move into the hood. We can move over here and then move up. I mean, before we move into the hills, I'm tripping. We moved out of the hood. Before we move into the hills, we can get a crib over here. Uh, as you can see, there are a few more cribs like this one right here on the corner. It looks kind of run down. Not really. That's actually not a bad house. Come on, man. Look, she vibing. <laughs> she in there vibing. Ain't nobody even at the stop on sign. Go, nigga. All right, let me squeeze through here, man. All right, y'all. Let's check this one out real quick, man. I'm sure it's definitely not no $400,000, bro. Oh, yeah. They got a little jacuzzi back here. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. I think I, you know, pull my car out of the way back. Or we can actually store several cars in this parking lot. So I actually do like this this property. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's see how much they want for it. Well, yeah, we'll probably just cut across the grass. We'll probably cut across the grass. Man. Oh, they only want $150,000, bro. Only $150,000 for this crib. That is not bad at all, bro. I'm tempted to just go ahead and get it. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm tempted to just go ahead and buy it. I wish I was on live right now so I can have y'all decide. But let's keep looking. So we got one. That we Well, we got two houses that we can definitely afford right now. We got one for three fifty, dollars which will leave us $40,000 left. And then we got that one for one hundred and fifty. dollars So that gives us a few options. Uh, that was actually not bad, but it doesn't have a driveway to it. So we're not going to even look. Let me see. This one got a little bit of a carport. It looked like the owner's still here. Somebody's still here on the porch. I kind of like this one. We'll check this one out, see how much they want for it. Oh, my fault, bro. <laughs> my fault, bro. All right, here we go. Let's see. Damn, 350. 350. So we could get it, man. But I think that first one we looked at for 350 is probably a little bit better. So. We'll keep looking. Like I said, I really want to stay in this area. I don't want to move over to the hood, but we got houses all over this thing. So all of these houses that you see right here are for sale. All of these over here are for sale. And then, of course, we got some over in this area as well. But those are like older, you know, more historic houses. And then, of course, we got all the houses over here in the hood. So I'm trying to stay away from this area. I don't want no old house. So we're not going over there. This is where we at right now. And then, of course, 
we got all of these houses that y'all see right here bro in the in the hills bro so i know we can't afford those at the moment so we just finna keep looking and i think we'll probably look at maybe like one or two more to make our decision bro let me see i think we good on gas so we're not gonna worry about that right now let me put my seatbelt back on all right y'all so let me see let me see let me see i'm gonna go left we're gonna turn left that's like looks like a two-story house so it may be a little bit too much damn way more than two stories actually if you look back there all of that uh i'm tripping all of that back there is that just one house so that's a little bit too much uh space let me see this house right here is actually not bad i really don't like the driveway but let's go ahead and see how much they want for it Let's see how much they want for it. This is actually a nice house. This is like granny house or something, you know? Like mama, mama house or something. This is a nice house, bro. Let's see. 350. Yeah, man. I think that's probably basically what I'm going to get over in this area besides that house over there for 150. So, uh, let's look at one more, y'all. One more, man. That one actually isn't bad either, bro. That one right there isn't bad either. Uh... <laughs> bro, I love that drip mode, man. That bitch so realistic. Just take off. All right, let's look at this one right here, man. And then we gonna make our decision, y'all. <laughs> this is huge, bro. Buying a house, like goddamn, it's a big commitment, man. This is dope, though. All right, three fifty, yeah, bro. So honestly, how I'm feeling right now, man. I actually like this one, bro. This is dope. This is dope. We ain't really got too much of a backyard, but. It's not all bad. Not all bad. I honestly think. I'm thinking this one might be the one, y'all. Because look at the driveway. I mean, the only thing is the driveway has the slant. Oh, how much is that one? Oh, that one's not for sale, I don't think. I bet you this one. Yeah, it don't look like this one's for sale. This one's already sold. Damn. But yeah, the driveway on this one got the slant, but it is a long driveway. It's in a nice area. It's right here on the corner, bro. I think this one is the one, y'all. Uh, like I said, I wish I was on live right now so y'all could choose for me. But since I'm not, we just finna go ahead and go with it, man. I could set up some dominoes out here, man. Let's go ahead and purchase our first crib, y'all. This is very, very monumental, bro. All right, man. <laughs> $350,000, man. Here it is, bro. Boom. We just purchased our first crib, man. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. All right, y'all, we are inside of our, our first crib, man. And I'm not even going to sit here and try to fake and flodge and, 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 and pretend, man. This definitely is not what I was expecting, bro. I mean, it's got a lot of room, you know, a lot of potential, but it's definitely not what I was expecting, uh, mainly because these damn rooms are so small, bro. These things is small as hell. <laughs> I'm sure y'all can hear the disappointment in my voice, bro. Two bedroom, one bath. It looked way bigger on the outside, bro. What type of shit is this? I wish you could tour the house before you actually buy it, but I guess that's not an option. But hey, man. Hold on. Let me do my um, my Will Smith. Uh, hold on. How you do it? Let me see. Y'all know when he was just standing in the room? <laughs> the empty room, man. That's funny as hell, y'all. But this is our crib, bro. We got us a little fireplace. Nice little decent kitchen, man. It's not bad, bro. I mean, I think it is. Well, I mean, the thing is, we in L.A., though. We in L.A., and y'all know the property is hella expensive in L.A., so maybe this is what you get for 350 but ah, it is what it is, y'all. Um, I think we should go get some furniture real quick. I think we'll probably have time to get some furniture during this episode. I don't want to make it too long. I want to get it uploaded for y'all today. Um, so let's actually go run and grab some furniture. We're going to head over to Ikea. Uh, I think that is right here. Yeah, well, y'all. So we finna run over to Ikea and grab some furniture. And basically my goal is, man, we finna start applying like crazy, crazy pressure to that boy and to all them guys on that side. So I definitely wanted to get out of that hood, get out of that area. So I think we just did, you know, something good for us, bro. That was definitely good. So yeah, we finna go to Ikea, grab some furniture real quick. And I will see you guys as soon as we get there.
All right, y'all, so we finally made it to Ikea. As y'all can see in the parking lot, man, I had a little bit of fun. Shit, there wasn't no other cars in here, so why not? Man, that drift mode is a game changer. But let's go ahead and run in and see exactly what all they have, man. I'm going to be adding some new um, some new furniture to the server, so just bear with me, man. It's a process. It's a process. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, they got it. Okay, we're looking at tables right now. <laughs> That's a dope little coffee table. Okay, how do I? Okay, there we go. I'm trying to see how to view it. That's a dope little coffee table, three hundred dollars. Not bad. How y'all trying to live, man? Y'all trying to live in luxury? Like, what's the deal, bro? <laughs> hey, this is crazy. I want to get a couch, two end tables, a coffee, like a whole, the whole nine, bro. Let me see, man. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, what is that? What the hell that is? Oh, we can get a pool table in that mug. All right, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one right here, bro. All right, we finna buy that one. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and find us a sofa. Now, we did get, like, a pretty nice, um, a pretty nice coffee table. Who the fuck? Who going to buy one of these, bro? What the fuck? Okay, yeah, they got some nice sofas in here, man. I kind of want something modern, though. Is that the same one? That is the same one. They're not too expensive either, bro. Let me see. Nah, I don't, I don't know about it, man. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking, man. Ah, uh, yeah, we ain't got too many options, guys. So, yeah, I guess we just get... I think we could do something dope with this, though. For real, for real. Because this don't really match our coffee table we bought, but... It's all we got at the moment, man. So, we'll just cop this sofa for 150 all right, guys, let's go ahead and find us a bed. Um, I think this might be the best one. Let's see. It's not too, it's not as expensive as, as I was expecting either. So that one's nice. That one's not bad, but that's like on some, some big mama, you know, some antique type shit. I think I'm going to go with this one, y'all. But this one is more so like some, I mean, I don't know. It got the silk sheets. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. It's more expensive, so that must say something, man. That must that must mean something. Let's buy this one, bro. Alright, guys. So in this episode, bro, we bought our house. We bought a little bit of furniture. Like I said, just bear with me. Everything in the server I have to pay for, like real money. So I'm gonna try to find somebody that can get us like a little bit better furniture. But we just getting started, man. It's our first crib, you know, coming home from the pen. So you know we doing big things, man. Y'all do me a favor, like I said, go ahead and smack the subscribe button. Like the video, man. Next episode, we going crazy, bro. We done moved out the hood. It's time to start applying that real pressure. Cause obviously these playing man so with that being said bruh i'm on to the next one